I think it's a little presumptuous to say to put Detroit on a map when Detroit is on a map, has, you know, creative legacy that goes way beyond before I was born, you know, and, and that legacy has influenced the world a couple times over. This is the big bad city, but you know, it's like quiet. Collaboration goes back to me playing with Legos on my parents' living room floor with my other friends and, you know, sharing things and things get knocked over, you know, and then and, and just having the temperament to, like, not get into fights over, you know, your little structure getting broken or whatever or kicked over. I mean, the project is called, like, our collaboration is called Complex Movements, and <laughs> we do everything at, to, to be as complicated as possible, like, layers upon layers. You know, crews, groups, bands, like, that's how I've always worked. And, and it's cool because I always learn a lot from other people, and I know people's work ethic. Um, it's a good way to gauge like when to push it and when not to push things or how much do you push to get to certain levels and you learn that from observing other people or working closely with other people. These are like prints that I work on and it's just conceptual stuff I'm just hashing out. Some of the stuff looks like it's in stores and some of the stuff is just in flux. Like uh, some of it worked, didn't work, and I'm gonna revisit. So this is an interactive piece that tied into actually um, the Beware of the Dandelions and this was an early iteration. This is an interactive music box where people can step on and, and play music and it has songs. That's not dead, it's just sitting there, but it's, you know, it's a de it was development for, for a larger piece. Um, which, you know, that the, the parts of that could probably be cannibalized and, and, and used into something else. You know, some of this is some of the sketch work um, where it was in development where me, uh, Aaron, and Carlos you know, had the frames, we're testing out projections. This, this begot the big box, which the big box begot the dome that people are in going into now. So I don't know, it's kind of, a seed inside of your brain and trying to push that seed to see how like big it can go and you know where does it start to spiral out of control or how do you keep control at different scales and that's that's really interesting you know to me parking lot is kind of like one of my oasis you know even though we look at a, a junk pile you know a cat jumping out of our dumpster you know, the train tracks and the warehouses back beyond that, it can be pretty serene back here. Uh, I wanna continue to like pick and choose the times, places, the people, you know, and the projects that I work on. Like that's a goal of mine to be perpetual. Like I don't wanna sit in a firm, um, you know, unless it's on my terms. Just, just in case I was shooting does. To me, that's really fulfilling to know that if you know, I'm making work that potentially can make a change and I can grow doing that. There we go.
then we have like the squirrels that I think they, so there's like this squirrel that's eaten through, has made this hole right there. Um, I, you know, they're, they're relentless. I feel like I'm on MTV Cribs and we're in the, at the, <laughs> at the infinity pool or something. I'm like, you know, <laughs> this is the, this is the view over the valley.